All right, guys, um, in this one, we're gonna be covering the Harbor Freight four and a half pound axe, uh, genuine hickory handle, 35 inches. Um, yeah, it's four and a half pound head. Fresh out the store, fresh out the box. So let's go ahead and get into it. What up? Just wanted to do a quick review of the Harbor Freight. I'm not gonna be doing nothing with this. Just have it out for now. Got some damage. And, uh, this is pretty much fresh out the box. These are their higher end ones. I had some of their um, cheaper ones, so I wanted to try a pair of these. So I'll be giving you guys a review on these too. I'm gonna give them a, they felt decent though. Hardies. High performance gloves, impact protection, grip and durability, comfort and breathability, um, and then padded palms, touchscreen compatible XLs, because that's what I need. And I need a new pair of gloves, so 16 bucks. So I wanted to give them a shot. And uh, I busted up a couple pieces. solid so far so we'll probably quit with that for now and go give it, a, give it a real test but that wasn't a full power swing as you guys seen so A couple of these four foot poles that I, um, I skinned these. They've been drying for a couple months. I skinned them a few months ago. So we'll try this, I guess. That definitely, uh, we'll see how many chops it takes to do this one. The smaller pieces are launching over the fence, so I'm gonna try some smaller trees maybe another time. But let me, let's see how long it takes to chop. There's one. I'm gonna go full. I'm gonna do side chops, I guess. I'm not like an axe man or nothing, but. Get that unstuck, let me know. I think that was eight. I think that split it. Six chops, seven chops on 
one end. Here, it's about six or seven chops, and the one chopped at the back, and that split it right down the shit. So these fuckers, but these are solid. So I'll have to count because I lost count. Six chops, and one was right here. So really, this is like five chops, six chops right in here, one here, and I just flipped it and got one on the back, and you guys can see through so it's still holding together we'll see how many we'll see all right all right we'll see good workout too man good workout you guys seen a power of that don't take long to get uh get a piece cut with that thing it's the damage so I believe that was nine chops total. These these logs are fucking. Um, they've been chilling for a little bit now, at least three months drying, standing up. They came off that, and uh, we actually had. But uh, I ended up cutting them up into four foot sections. Um, and they've been drying for months. That was this last winter. I even drilled a hole through one try out my wood bit but uh yeah I think that was about nine chops eight chops and I chopped uh this is probably a four foot or not four foot four inch thick um yeah so not bad so that's that um Maybe I'll do a review on the hatchets that I got. I got two hatchets that I wrapped with paracord if you guys want to see something with these. Basically what I did was I used this one and another one, skinned all the bark off them. Like harvest this wood. And these are all the other little scrap pieces that uh, like the little limbs and shit that came off of it. And then this stump here that I got, I got some more right here, but the, one of these trees was cut down and shit. So, um, we had some big stumps right there. I'll show you. I'll show you this one. Uh, this one was the smaller one. I wanted the big one. Plus, when I go fishing again, there's a lot of worms under there and shit. So, I'm going to get all those worms out of there. But, um, yeah, it was kind of nice they left that stump. I'll show you guys my little garden. What I got going. Just got some new mulch out. Or bark, I mean. So I ran some 60-pound uh, fish line. You guys probably can't see that. Just ran some stakes from those branches. And um, basically, you know, pinned it out. And then I just dug up this whole section. I should have got the video how I did all this shit. But I got some spinach right there. This is all garlic. That one, I put like 10 cloves in there. They were all about like that. And now they're fuck over a foot. But yeah, I put like eight, eight or ten of them in there. Those are all growing. Then I did eight potatoes. Each stick. I don't know if I can if you can see them, but each stick has got a potato. This one I put a red potato as the double stick right here. So that's red. So we'll see if anything happens with that. Got some strawberries. Haven't done nothing with those yet. Had to get a new mower. Um, yeah, I got some other goodies from Harbor Freight there. Um, so I'm just going to do reviews on this stuff here. Give you a sneak peek. What is it? What is it? Spent 100 bucks. But uh, here's the rest of the logs that I chopped up. And, uh, yeah. Sipping on my Seahawks. My Seahawks cup. Honestly, I would say probably 30 to 50 chops to chop one of these guys up. These are like two inch. You know what I mean? So, here's, uh, I'm like, I got a review coming for this actually. I guess I wasn't going to show you guys this. $8 aluminum handle, 8 inch survival hunting knife from Harbor Freight. It's a Pittsburgh. Uh, it's well balanced actually it's well balanced 
I checked everything for splits. This one was the most solid one they had there, as far as like the, the seam there. The other ones had a big opening and shit. I didn't like that. I looked for something all the way around that was filled to the top. Pinned down nicely. We'll see how long that holds up. Comfortable. I got big hands, so it's comfortable for me. But uh, this was also just a rubber little thing there. Pipe this out. I'm going to sharpen it up and see how many chops it takes. So we'll see. So this is kind of the out of the box review. Um, out of the box, fresh out the store, no sharpening, no nothing. Just uh, straight go test. So, hey guys, had to get some more stuff so I can uh, have something to do. Actually, I needed. Maybe I'll go go through my gear. I got some gear and shit, but I don't know. I just wanted. I really needed an axe, something bigger than the hatchets I had because I got a smaller hatchet hatchet than this. It's hickory. This one's not so comfortable, but again, I got bigger hands. It is plastic, so I wanted to try out the gloves as well. So yeah. Yeah, launched a piece of wood over the neighbor's fence, chopping right here, so uh, stay tuned. We got some more coming. Peace.